Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in this video let's take a look at this foldable solar charger from Swaoki and this one is the 14 watt version. So this came in this uh, very easily recyclable um, cardboard box so without wasting any more time let's take a look at what we get in the box. So once you open the box this is what you get. First you are greeted with a thank you card. You will get uh, about one meter long USB micro USB cable and the solar panel itself. Inside you will also find a user manual and you can see on the user manual it says Wauki 14 watt. So let's keep the box aside. As you can see on top there is the charge controller or voltage regulator which outputs 5 volt and about 2.2 amperes as the company claims it to be. Also you will get this small pocket for storing your phone or a power bank. But a more practical way of using this is use it first charging a power bank and then using the power bank to charge your phone. But in that you are also losing a lot of energy when charging your power bank first and then charging your phone off of the uh, power bank. So in the pocket you get this pack of silica gel for preventing any moisture buildup. Uh, in the pocket you will also get two carabiners. Uh, they feels very light, not very uh, heavy duty. Feels like they are made of aluminium. Let's quickly close the latch. The solar panel is closed uh, using these two uh, click buttons. To open them, you just open them like this. And first you get to see the monocrystalline very high efficiency solar cells and there are a total of four cells like this in this solar panel as you can see this is the total setup now for measuring let's I'm going to take a tape measure and measure the whole setup so if you measure this you will see that it come it is coming out to be about 2 feet or 24 inches and the width wise it's about 6 inches as you can see so i have a samsung z1 here this is the samsung z1 so here we are in the sunlight it's about 11 am and as you can see it is not cloudy at all it's very bright today and on the back of the solar panel you can see that on the charge controller or voltage regulator the LED is glowing that means it's getting sunlight and it's ready to use I've plugged in the uh, USB cable that came with this uh, foldable solar charger and I have a phone here this is the Samsung uh, Z1 that it came with the Tizen software and let's see how much charge do we have in it so I don't know if you can see or not but we have about 43% charged and it's 11 am so I'm going to plug the charger uh, in the phone let me just do that so I have plugged in the charger and as you can see Uh, let me just show you it's displaying the charging symbol so it's 43 percent charge it's about 10 53 a.m. and we will check how long it takes to charge the phone completely so here we are and as you can see the Sun has moved a lot so here is our phone protected under my jacket and let's see how much it is charged here it is as you can see it is 100% charged and we started to charge this phone at 10:43 uh, am and it's 12:37 pm right now so that's like 1 hour 44 minutes so it's charged this phone from 43% to 100% in uh, 1 hour 44 minutes and by the way I forgot to mention this phone has a 1500 milliamp hour battery that's not too huge but it works for this phone 
so here we are and I have set up a little test for this solar panel I have connected a broken USB cable to the solar panel and as you, key, you can see there are four wires out of which one of them is red and one of them is black so the red one is the positive one and the black one is the negative one so let's turn our multimeter to the 20 volt setting and let's measure the voltage that the solar panel is producing so connect the red of the solar panel to the red of your multimeter and the black to the black of your multimeter and as you can see on the screen it's showing 5.2 volts so the solar panel is producing 5.2 volts now to measure the current I'm going to connect the uh, multimeter in series with the solar panel because I don't have a USB multimeter so I'm doing it this way so I've connected a broken micro USB cable to this phone and there are two leads coming out and I'm going to connect the negative of the phone to the negative of the solar panel like so and I'm going to connect the positive of the phone to the one of the leads and I will connect the other lead to the positive of the solar panel and before that I have to move my red probe from the 200 milliampere fused uh, port to the 10 ampere maximum and turn our setting to the 10 ampere range and I will connect the one of other lead to the positive of the solar panel and this should give me uh, some reading okay so I'm getting about the phone is pulling about uh, so the phone is pulling about 0.2 uh, amps that is 0.26 that's about uh, 200 milliamperes 270 milliamperes uh, the solar panel is definitely producing more than that but because the phone is fully charged now uh, it's not taking any more charge after doing this test my advice would be to buy at least 20 watt version although I'm really very impressed with this uh, 40, 14 watt version also but 20 watt version would be more practical in many situations uh, with that said I conclude my video on the Suwauki 14 watt uh, foldable solar charger uh, with that said I hope you will spend some of your money on solar technology and I will see you in the next video bye